It's volcanic gases interacting with water which creates the dangers of these lakes. But gas is not the only way a volcanic system can make a lake deadly. In 2003, research revealed a hazard that threatens America's first and oldest national park, Yellowstone. This time, gas isn't the culprit. When Naked Science Killer Lakes returns. Now, the conclusion of Naked Science Killer Lakes. Lakes in volcanic areas may look calm at the surface. But in fact, they are the visible part of a plumbing system that can stretch many miles underground. It's the volcano beneath that drives this system. In 2003, geologists in America's oldest national park revealed a new mechanism for a crater lake to become a killer. Wyoming. This is Yellowstone Lake. At 136 square miles, it's the largest high altitude lake in North America. It sits in the southeast corner of the park and appears the perfect picture of serenity. But over 10,000 geothermal features at Yellowstone make it obvious that this is an active volcanic area. Dr. Lisa Morgan works for the United States Geological Survey. She has discovered exactly how the volcano beneath can turn this placid lake into a deadly hazard. In 1999, Morgan and her colleagues used state-of-the-art multi-beam sonar imaging to create the most comprehensive mapping of the lake's floor ever done. We made dozens of discoveries and really changed the thinking from what was known prior to our mapping. Morgan finds a dome that rises 100 feet from the lake floor and stretches the length of over five football fields. And she thinks the key to understanding how the dome formed is underground heat. Beneath Yellowstone is a vast magma chamber. And in some parts of the park, it may be only three miles below the surface. The magma stored in the chamber could be hotter than 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. And the heat rises, warming groundwater all over the park, including under Yellowstone Lake. It can heat the water beneath the lake bed to up to 460 degrees Fahrenheit. As the temperature increases, the water expands and pressure builds. Morgan is certain water expansion and pressure increase causes the dome on the lake floor. The park's famous geysers are the clearest product of high-pressure groundwater at Yellowstone. There are more than 100 active geysers at Yellowstone. The king of them all, Old Faithful. It erupts water and steam at temperatures as high as 350 degrees Fahrenheit up to 180 feet into the air. And it does this on average every 74 minutes. A geyser works in the same way as a whistling kettle. A source beneath heats the trapped water. A camping stove provides the heat for the kettle while the magma chamber heats the groundwater. The water expands and pressure increases as the temperature rises. Finally, it forces its way out through any available escape. Steam rushes out through the whistle in the kettle, 
a higher pressure ejects water from the geyser. The water erupts out until the pressure is dissipated. But there's an essential difference between Old Faithful and the dome on the lake floor. The thing with the geyser is that there's an escape valve. There's an escape area that the water is able to come out of. The domes appear to have no release valve. Morgan fears that if the pressure becomes too great, it could explode up through Yellowstone Lake in what geologists call a hydrothermal explosion. Morgan searched the park to see if it's happened before. A volcanic eruption leaves deposits, including cooled lava. But a hydrothermal explosion leaves different evidence. The hot water dissolves minerals, which then percolate and react with, or hydrothermally alter, the surrounding rocks and clay. Finally, she discovers what she was looking for. She found layers of clay sediment, its color hydrothermally changed by zeolite minerals flowing through it. Nearby, she found rocks with veins of silica minerals, another sign of hydrothermal alteration. In total, she uncovered evidence of 25 major hydrothermal explosions in the last 20,000 years. By comparison, there have only been three giant eruptions at Yellowstone in over two million years. Now she goes back to the sonar mapping of Yellowstone Lake's floor. There's a crater one and a half miles across under Mary Bay at the north end of the lake. And sediment samples show hydrothermal change. 13,800 years ago, the largest hydrothermal explosion ever documented created this crater. 100 million gallons of boiling water exploded into the atmosphere. A huge tidal wave swept across the lake. Rock and mud covered an area of 10 square miles. So can Yellowstone expect another massive explosion soon? Morgan looks at all the evidence. 18,000 years, 25 explosions. That's one about every 700 years. And the last big one was nearly 3,000 years ago. So it appears that another major explosion is long overdue. But can we predict when? Morgan believes that it's not simply pressure that causes the groundwater.